Welcome back to another Christmas-themed Top 5. I'm Walter Benaziak. I'm Heather Roos. And I'm Ayanna Wade. Since you all made us watch horror movies for the last Christmas Top 5, I thought this week we can count down some of our favorites. Yes, I just rewatched Polar Express. Oh, I call Die Hard. Whoa, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Of course it is. I don't feel like it's really Christmas until I hear the dry ho, ho, ho of Hans Gruber. I'm tired of having this argument with people. Fine. Let's settle this once and for all. Let's see what Twitter thinks. Twitter is never wrong. Die Hard was released in July of 1988. It follows the story of Officer John McClane, who travels from New York to Los Angeles in the hopes of spending the holidays with his estranged family. He attends a party at Nakatomi Tower where his wife works. The tower is seized by terrorists led by Hans Gruber. McLean is not taken with the rest of the hostages, and he tries to fight back. This movie helped cement Bruce Willis as an action star, and launched the career of Alan Rickman as it was his first major motion picture. Even though it received fairly mediocre reviews at the time of its release, it is now considered by some as one of the greatest action movies or even movies ever made. Many websites and critics have also ranked it among the best Christmas movies. Walter, what do you think? Well, I mean, Bruce Willis has said it isn't a Christmas movie. So Move over! Oh, this is my episode now. These are the top five reasons why Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Number five, the time setting. Just because the movie takes place on Christmas Eve does not make it a Christmas movie. This is the most obvious reason why some claim the movie is a Christmas movie. It takes place on Christmas Eve at a Christmas party. Now this in and of itself doesn't really qualify it as a Christmas movie. What matters is the fact that it is Christmas pushes forward certain plot elements. McLean only is coming to LA in the first place because of the holiday. Christmas is the reason for the party in the first place. Admittedly, this is the weakest of our reasons. So let's move on to some more solid ground. Number four, oh, the, the music. Christmas music is the perfect way to get into the holiday spirit. Every Christmas movie needs an appropriate soundtrack. Oh! Die Hard features a number of holiday songs and themes throughout the movie. It was December 24th on Holly Sabbath the dark When I seen a man chilling with his dog at the park I approached him very slowly with my heart full of fear When they are used, they are used well to set a particular tone. One of my favorite elements of this is the integration of some Christmas themes into the background music. Listen here as the music references the ode to joy and then transitions into a theme of let it snow. Another standout feature is the jingle bells used. The movie even ends with a rendition of Let It Snow. It's a wonderful homage to the holiday as well as the banker bonds that are falling from the tower at the end. So whether it's subtle or obvious, the movie makes an effort to include Christmas music and themes throughout, integrating the Christmas theme even more into Die Hard. Number three, Christmas references. Some of the best lines and moments in Die Hard reference Christmas. This movie is chock full of references to the holiday and Christmas well wishes. One of my favorite lines is only possible because of the Christmas setting. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. And there's this iconic moment. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring except the four assholes coming in the rear in standard two by two cover formation. I will admit, these references are stronger in the beginning and the end of the movie, with the middle lacking in some Christmas references, but it's still there. Spoilers here. So if you still haven't seen Die Hard, skip ahead, and for the love of God, go watch it. When McLean fires the shot that leads to the death of Hans, the gun he uses is ripped off of his back after being held there with Christmas tape. If the setting were just incidental, the audience would not have been reminded of the holiday throughout the movie. Number two, a redemption arc. You might think this is a stretch, but hear me out on this. 
some of our most familiar and beloved Christmas tales involve someone who changes for the better because of the season or the trials that they face during the holiday, whether it be Scrooge or the Grinch. Although John McClane's redemption arc may not be quite so dramatic, it's still there. He starts the story as a man stressed and separated from the ones he loves. He comes to LA in the hopes of mending some fences and reconnecting with his family. This seems like an almost hopeless task before the terrorists come to the tower. He and his wife Holly, that's right, Holly, fight. She takes their family picture down. One of the biggest points of contention is that she begins to use her maiden name. You are a married woman, Holly. You're married to no, me. We're gonna have this Remember, conversation again. We did this in July. We I never a, finished this conversation in July. I had an opportunity. I had yeah, to take right. it. Right. No matter what the consequences, no what? matter what it did to our marriage, it you didn't had to do take anything this to our marriage. The shared trauma helps bring John and his wife Holly back together and really see what's important in life. It's family. There's a wonderful moment when John realizes that he may not make it out alive, and really shows how much he has grown throughout the ordeal. She never heard me say I'm sorry. And I want you to tell her that, Alan. I want you to tell her that uh, John said that he was sorry. No matter how much they may have fought, they see that they need to be reunited to be truly happy again. And the number one reason why Die Hard is a Christmas movie is the traditions. I know so many people who have made Die Hard a part of their Christmas traditions. Whether it be with family, friends, or loved ones, people all across America watch this movie every year. There has been a multitude of Christmas-related media based around Die Hard for people to enjoy together. Last year, I went to a holiday musical performance of Die Hard. It was amazing! There's a mock children's book that recently came out. It parodies Twas the Night Before Christmas. I would highly recommend it for any Die Hard fan in your life. Overall, Die Hard is now a part of the culture surrounding Christmas. So agree or disagree, it's a tradition that bonds people together. And isn't that what Christmas is about? Coming together with the people we love to create memories? Let's let bygones be bygones and just enjoy each other's company this holiday season. Sounds good. Did I hear you mention a, a Die Hard picture book? Oh yeah, it's great. I've actually got it right here if you guys want to read it. Sure, let's just wrap up the show and we'll start our own new holiday tradition. Well, we want to hear what you guys think. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? What traditions do you have around Die Hard? What do you want to see us cover next on the show? Leave a comment and let us know. To keep in touch, you can like my Facebook page or follow along on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or subscribe to my animated movie review series right here on YouTube. And you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, or Twitch where I stream on Wednesday nights. We'll catch you right back here next week with a brand new episode of Top 5. Just because the movie, hang on, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> yep. Christmas music is the appropriate, no. Christmas music is the appropriate, well, why can't I say that? I know so many people who have made die. Sounds great. Well, did I mention you? Nope. You didn't mention me. <laughs> <laughs> like, we did actually invite you back. Not make sense. This is really awkward. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. That's great. Tape, because we taped. You're welcome, future Walter. Well done, people well disagree. Well done, well done. Twas the night before Christmas, and up in the tower, everyone was partying, except one wallflower. Bearer bonds fluttered like fresh fallen snow, as Holly embraced her blood spattered bow. So Merry Christmas to all, be kind to one another, and most of all, yippee ki mother.